what's up guys we're back here and today we are going to be playing some beast hunter um why are we playing beast hunter honestly i just wanted to play beast hunter i had a lot of fun playing the reno version of the deck that was playing all the big beasts and honestly i was kind of just like ah i don't want to play the smaller ver or the non-reno version because i do think hollow hound is a stupid underrated card this card is nuts like straight up fucking nuts so I figured, why not play it more? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I, I don't I don't have much else to say. I, I feel like these intros are getting shorter and shorter and shorter from video to video, but hey, you guys don't care about the intro. You just care about the gameplay. So with that being said, let's hop right into the first game. All right, guys? Yeah, I'll see you guys all up there. All right. First matchup, mage... Not exactly what I wanted to see, but it should be fine. This whole hand, it's actually really good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We actually have an insane curve. If he doesn't do anything on one, I'm gonna probably play this on one. See what he does. Right now he's looking at building the left card, so I'm pretty sure it's secret. He doesn't play Secret on 2. The player's gonna probably be Starving Buzzard Coin Alley Cat. Or Starving Buzzard Coin Second Spring Pot to kill whatever creature is on board. Or it might just be Coin Harpoon Gun, kill it, hopefully put like a Hollow One on top. Or Hydralodon. Or Shade Hound. Name a card, basically. <laughs> All the beasts of this deck are pretty good to put on top. Maybe my opponent's just AFK, and this way I don't have to play against Mage, and I can be happy. That'd be great. I guess it depends what I draw on one. Actually, is if I do the play I was just talking about, coin this out on two, or if I coin this out on two. Good enough, I guess. Just do this for now. I have a one one. He might just hear power it down. If he does, I'm probably gonna coin this out. He plays something. I have this trade here. I'm gonna still go for the coin harpoon gun, I think. Yeah, I'll protect the one one. Um take this. So one of the reasons I want to protect the one one there. Um it's because if it was Oasis ally, I could have just give this poisonous and poke it. Um, which I would have been 100% down to do, so, I think it's fine. So, pretty good draw. Okay, well, I know what it is now. Yeah, we know what the secret is now. We know it's rigged for game, so we just have to make sure to punch him every single turn, and everything should be fine. Um, we have to hope he doesn't have the four four. If he has the four four here, I'd probably just concede. So, thank God. Yeah, if he had the four four, I'd probably just concede on the spot. I don't have another charge, dude. The other one's on the bottom of my deck. So, you know. Fine. I'm down to just draw a bunch of cards here. I keep one in hand now. Beautiful. Whole bunch of cards in hand. Again, we pray for an 044. You'd have to top deck it, so. 
At this point, I'm pretty sure that's out of the question. Well, I'm sorry, it's not out of the question, but you know what I mean. Drano is really good. I don't think that deck plays Flame Ward anymore. Are you serious? I've not seen a person play that card in actually months. And yet the one time I have a board that... I guess I should have punched face with everything first. My bad, I missed 10 damage. It's really, really unfortunate. It's Tavish next turn, Hydra's on the turn after, turn around on the turn after that. That was just fine. Ice trap is fine. Explosive trap is fine. I know I want to punch face. Guess this is fine. Should have traded this one in. That's my bad. I should have traded the one one, uh, the other one one in, um, for the main reason that uh if i these do get bounced somehow i get a second copy of them which is pretty good for me counter spell we can put back into his hand i know this is still rigged fair games so really good draw do this Force him to fireball, force him to have one of those cards that answers us. We do have a uh, Stranglehorn, which is pretty good. He's playing two copies of Flame Ward. So interesting. Never thought I'd see the day where someone's playing two copies of Flame Ward. Straight up. Never thought I'd see that day. It's kind of wild to think about. We'll face for lethal now. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, Beast Hunter game one down. We end that shit with a dub. All right, all right, all right. All righty, with that being said, let's queue up the next game. All right, guys, yeah, with that, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one. All righty. Um, this is pretty solid. Don't need this. Let's have a one drop. Don't need this. Hmm. Another very interesting hand. I'll start with Alley Cat. Start with Alley Cat. There's no real way to buff creatures in my hand in this deck. So, Wolf Pintail. Wool Pet. Wolper Kanger? Is that really how you pronounce that? Probably not. The one with wings is slightly better to play turn one. Or sorry, slightly worse to play on turn one in case in the future the deck does start running shit that buffs the hand buffs. You want to play the Alley Cat first, because the Alley Cat is always going to summon a 1-1 one, one versus this guy. will summon a copy, so if this is a 3-3, three, three, it's going to summon a 3-3. Three, three. Slightly better to play this one first in in the, because of that. I'm going to probably just play this on 1, no matter what he does, unless I draw something better. There's not much that is better in the deck. So, yeah. 
most likely just going instrument tech next turn. Um, instrument tech draws me my weapon. My weapon allows me to go face creatures. Not having the weapon just straight up in hand here really sucks. I'm perfectly fine with that. This is going to take out one of these. You might hear probably the other one. I'm going to play this. Take that out. I am going to be behind on board in that scenario, which does suck. Um, But at the same time, I have this in hand, which should gain me back some amount of life. He's not hero powering this down now, so this should just be free. This is super free here. If he goes face, it's the best case scenario for me. Beautiful. Yeah, I play this, kill that, punch him in the face with everything else. That's fine. That's fine. Again, I'm not going to continue to play around Flame Ward. I think that was a one thing that that one guy was doing. I've not seen a list of Secret Misha has played Flame Ward in the last... I don't even know how many days in months let's do this, let's do this. Okay. I don't really want to put dread skill on top of my deck yet is the thing Now he's going to force the hero power here. I can use the small dudes to turn into whatever he plays. Build me up space on my board. He kills three things. Oh, this is active. That's fine. Alrighty. Uh, do this. Alright. Well, the plan there was to slam uh, Shadehound. Use a Shadehound to poke that. But he had Counterspell, so that no longer works as well. Uh, I'm gonna go Tavish here. Tavish punch him in the face. The last secret that could realistically be is Rigged Fair. I, could, I guess no, I could go Hollow One actually here. Hollow one might be slightly better. It gains me six life. This might be slightly better here. It actually gives me more than that. It gives me eight life. I love this card. This card is so fun. Technically, he can go second black mage. Rigged fair games. Oh, shit. I mean, there's not much you can do from this scenario. <laughs> Hollow one's a 5 6. Unless he has Pod Prince, in which case he's not killing a 6 2. <sighs> we'll play around most of the secrets that could possibly be by punching with the 6 2 in right here. And this goes here. This goes here. And he's dead. Easy game. This is the one thing. You hear me bitch a lot about Secret Mage. And I won't deny it. I do it a lot. But when you're playing aggro decks, the deck becomes significantly easier to beat. It's just mostly a deck that shits on combo and control decks, and that's because that's what I like playing, so I find the deck is way more obnoxious than most people will. And I, I, I admit to that fault, but yeah, I don't know. I still don't like Secret Mage. 
Anyways, with that being said, though, let's queue up the next one. Another mage. What the fuck is this bullshit? I don't want to play against this matchup. All right, mull this, mull this. Keep the one drop so I have something to play on one. Shadehound in the opener is actually really good. Shadehound is really good in the opener because now when I play this guy, I'm going to get buffed every time he... Is that true? This I want to play this. The only way that this gun's bad is my turn three draw is like Starving Buzzard. But I was going to most likely play it anyways next turn. So, yeah. Oh, that's the best draw on my deck. He wants the Arcane Missiles, my board next to him, that's fine. But I am going to punch him in the face with a Harpoon Gun and hope that's good enough. Yeah, that's fine. Shadehound's growing. He's growing. He's getting prepared. I was going to try to click enter and I still have a choice to make. And the choice it is... Pick the single strongest five cost creature in the entire game. Remember when this used to be four? Or so it used to discount it by three. So this would be a four drop here. Those were silly days. This is active now. I'm going to put a, a hound on top, most likely. Put the hollow hound on top. I'm going to hold on to this in hand. I wanted to play a decently sized creature this turn. Uh, so this way my Hydralodon won't, most likely won't stick. Um, but I can use both heads to... Yeah, see, this is perfect. We can play Hydralodon here, poke with both heads. And then he's going to probably answer Hydralodon, play something else. And if he does, I can then some um, Void Hound, or Shade Hound, and buff all my heads up. My heads are going to be five two, uh, five threes. A bunch of five threes punching him in the face. Um, You know, pretty good. Oh, he's dead. Okay. It's not quite dead. He kills this. Do you have another way to deal damage to this? He's digging. You're almost there. Do it. I didn't have a way to kill it myself, which kind of sucks. I kind of wish you actually did kill it. I wish that the last shot off of it killed it. And then this way I could go Void Hound and then win the game. <laughs> or Shade Hound and win the game. Anyways, though, uh, that, that, was, that was a game. How about we queue up the next one and continue this streak, hopefully. All right, guys, yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Alrighty. Uh, I want to keep this in case it's aggro. Okay, YOLO? Okay, YOLO. In case it's aggro, I want to keep this. And it's not great. Drawing this here really sucks. Also, by the way, I hope everybody has a beverage. I am currently drinking myself a bottle of carbonated water. Went to the store earlier to get snacks for my road trip oh, actually at the moment when this video goes up i'm already on my road trip so yeah i went to get snacks and i also got water because i only drink water that sparkles i'm pretty sure it's the most bougie thing i do is drink sparkling water i don't remember how it started all I, all I know is uh, the only part I vaguely remember was I was on a trip with, uh, I have cousins who live in California and we met up in Florida to go to Disney. Um, and they were leaving a couple days earlier than us because we drove down and they flew. 
but while we were there we bought we rented uh condos it was one of the things that we'd like to do when we travel is we don't necessarily like paying for like restaurants every day because it gets really expensive when you're gone for a month so we like to get condos so we can cook food while we're gone i don't mind cooking so it's not the end of the world uh and they ended up buying bubbly um and then they're like well we bought too much and we can't bring it back on our flight because the fucking big ass cans of bubbly do you want to just have them and we're like okay and then that obsession turned into me buying 24 bubblies a week basically for like the last three years i no, okay, three years two years hit the one 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 time oh well, i can see There's no way I win this game anymore. I need that to hit the 1-1. One, one. It'd be 5 health. I could do poke poke. Shoot up. Don't even know if I can still win this game. Well, you can try, I guess. The problem is if I slam Tundra Rhino, he punches it with the fucking mutinous. The only way this would work if I had Harpoon Gun, and I would have put uh, the the taunt dude, the pack mule, on top. So I'd have two taunters, so I could go Tundra Rhino, pack mule, pack mule. And then he might have not been able to kill the Tundra Rhino, and then if he did it, I had Hydralodon, which was just lethal. Um... And also, to be fair, maybe he just goes face. I'm going to slam it next turn. If he just goes face, I mean, Hydralodon then becomes just good enough. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't really have an option besides trying, so might as well go for it. Just say fuck it and full send. I'll actually probably end up going 1-1 one, one and the Tundra Rhino into the 4-3, because it's a 2-5, right? So it's going to survive at one health. But if he lets it survive, Hydralodon is good enough. If he doesn't, Maybe I top deck this on 8. And that's just good enough. Or maybe my opponent's AFK. And therefore he won't answer my Tundra Rhino. Therefore I'm ahead. My guess is my Tundra Rhino is going to get answered. And there's nothing I can do about it. Well, there goes that plan. Maybe I top deck another Tundra Rhino. Oh, I actually hit the string. Did I hit it? I have to cycle this here. Uh, I think I'm just going to hit the concede button. I don't think I can actually win from here. I guess maybe if I top deck this. Maybe that's on... The only way I can see myself winning is this is on spell. I play this, top deck this, leave this, gains nine. It's the only way I can see myself winning this game. The my only way. I have to top deck exactly this. That ain't it, chief. It also is not on spell, so I never won. Oh well. It happens. That's the thing with playing Shadow Walk. Sometimes you just lose to that type of draw. Oh well. Anyways, we have time for, for another game, so let's queue up the next game and hopefully have it go better. Alright, guys, yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all there. Alrighty. Um. Okay. Let's just keep the Kinanotron. This is fine, I guess. Play this on one, play this on two. We have Devouring Swarm to kill something he plays. Alright. It's actually so weird being so late into the season and only hitting Legend now. I feel like I've been getting better at trying to do it earlier, but yet I feel like I've also just been playing so much of other Hearthstone game modes 
again, still working towards the goal of completing Hearthstone. I know I, I'm, I've been meaning to do a lot more of it on stream. I was just, life has been very hectic recently for me, so. It's, it's been hard trying to find time to stream. Is that, that's something I'm always trying to do is find time, but I often don't have any. <laughs> You give me huge. There should be these three attacking into that. Looks like this takes two damage, but what can you do? It, it, it really sucks that it had five health and not. Four health. If it had four health, I was really fine. Just again, uh, would have done those. I would have had my three three on the battlefield. Not having that kind of sucks. It also sucks using the devouring storm this early on, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, spring paw would be the best draw in my deck, or harpoon. Right, it's like one of those two. I don't know if that deck plays any removal. Dread scale plus poisonous might actually also just be good enough, funny enough. Uh this is so bad for me. There were so many better draws in my deck than this. It's a very unfortunate draw. I guess I could throw out Starving Buzzard and it's fine all of a sudden, but when the Starving Buzzard draws me four cards that it becomes fine. Yeah. Starving Buzzer Man. What a card. Really good for him. Two hit. Deep Sea Scrounging or whatever the fuck the card's called. Yeah, it's a great art detector. Yeah, you hit five. Fuck me, I guess. Zero mana draw five is really good. Oh, there's the Spring Claw. That would have been really good last turn. Oh, this is not going nearly as good as I wanted it to go. My hand was really mad this game, if I'm being honest, though. And he just drew five cards, so my odds of winning this game went from maybe 2%. Uh, I shouldn't say 2, but like 10, 20, 30%. But probably around 5. If he had drawn, say, 3 cards, I would have been maybe closer to like a 20%er. Yeah, like... How the fuck do I beat that? Unless I top deck exactly Serpent Bloom. I don't know how to beat that card. Shadehound is an option, I guess. He's one damage off killing us, so he needs to have another magnetic creature, and he's already played, like, three. So. He's played two from his deck. There's only two more. I guess he could have the three, five, Wind Fury. Which would be really good for him. But if he doesn't, I mean, Shadehound is really good. I killed the max. All right. So the thing is, now he's killing this for sure. I just need to remember. I have this right. So two. So I want to hit ideally one more big uh, beast. Uh, Hollowed Hound is pretty good. Hydralodon is probably the best one. He really hit D Shield in the one that mattered. Opium. That's fine though. Um, yeah, it's weird, right? I felt like he was so far ahead, and yet 
now he just feels like super behind to me. So it's a really, really weird feeling. Be good. Kind of wanted. To, I should have taken bees actually. That's fine. I poke here. Those two kill that. So the thing is, right, he can cast the spell. This should be ideally, I should have taken the bees. Bees would kill whatever he plays here. So it was slightly better. Um, so like if he played the 3-5, it died to bees. Because they were 2-2s, two right? So it dealt 8 to it. And the thing is now, although, like, if these were bees and snake trap, it would be best case scenario. Because he's going to trade into this most likely by doing this, this. He doesn't. I gotta keep this around, which I'm happy with as well. Um, this is gonna grow probably a little bit out of control, but what can you do? Oh, there's only two in here. So I went back to being in a position. Oh, beautiful. Okay, never mind. We're in a fun position now. We went from an iffy situation. Oh, fuck me dead, huh? That's an insane top deck. You're not the best one. Leave these now out of existence. Okay, this is such a nuts top deck. It was... Yeah, it's better than Hydralodon, I'd say. Does it kill... The big thing is I had to kill the uh, security automaton, but that was like the huge thing, was that thing had to die. Um, yeah. The ice trap was really useless. What does this do? I'll do something maybe with less attack than this, give it divine shield. Leave there. leave here <laughs> like what poke cleave play this hero power i don't have lethal right the big thing is i just heal so fucking much with this card right let's do this first yeah, this costing zero is fine. One creature in hand, or two creatures in hand, I think. Oh, I don't know what he dredged, actually. There's no tell. Um, if he hits the second radar detector, it costs him six mana this turn, right? Two... Yeah, six mana this turn. That doesn't it means he can't play much, and that means I still have another turn to fuck around with my guy. I get to draw a lot of cards here actually, which is really nice. Yeah, I gotta draw a lot of cards here. So the thing is right. Do this. I know exactly what I'm putting on top. Putting this on top. Do this. I draw a card. I could take out that. These two get played. Fairly good. Fine. Alright, we should win the game now. I'm gonna play Strangleheart next turn. I've had three big dudes die. One Shade Hound, one Tendrino, one Hollowed. Um right they're hollowed, right? Yeah, hollow hand. Yeah, I just play that next turn. Left my board to Oblivion. Kill him. Win the game. Easy game. I don't... There's no card in the game here that allows him to answer what I just said. Alright, that's 5, 10, 14. I'm really... No, I have hero power. I thought it was one damage off, but no, I have hero power.
I forgot I had to attack with a specific one first. Does not matter. We we're just that big. It did not in matter. Let's go. I should have cleaved to try to complete another achievement. I should have cleaved here. <laughs> Beautiful. That went so well. Fuck, that deck is good. Oh, we completed more mercenary things. Oh, I actually completed the achievement. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, that, that actually went super well. I did not think Beast Hunter was going to go that well, but turns out Beast Hunter is probably just the best Hunter deck in the format. Also, like, honestly, probably like tier one deck. I, I feel like Beast Hunter is a tier one deck. This deck felt so good. Like, Mech Pally is pretty good, but this deck was, this deck just felt silly. Shad on Secret Mage. Shad on the Mech Pally. What else did we play against? The only deck we lost to was Shadowwalk. But Shadowwalk kind of beats all uh, aggro decks, right? Yeah, we beat three mages, one paladin, lost to the shaman. And what was it? It was Secret Secret Spell Pile. So, like, in reality... I'm really happy with how that did. Like, I, I, I would say it's the best hunter deck in the format. And I don't think it's really close. Also, I mean, that Stranglehorn at the end there. Whew, that was a good card. Anyways, though. Uh, I don't I don't have much else to say. So, with that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys all on the next one where hopefully, hopefully... We'll get more dubs. All right, guys. Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all on the next one. All right, guys. Yeah. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow up to Twitch and Twitter, and I'll see you there. Peace.